question, what's key in establishing a good turf maintenance plan? Answer, it all has to do with avoiding fungal turf disease. Why? Simple. When the environment is favorable to a healthy growing area, disease has a harder time taking hold. It's when fungus is detected and disease develops that the problems start. But selecting the correct fungicide will help you win the war against them every time. They say good things come in force, but when it comes to fungi plaguing turf grasses in the Tampa area, not so much. There are four main fungi that love to wreak havoc on turf grasses in these parts. Brown patch, large patch, gray leaf spot, and dollar spot disease. The first offender is brown patch. It goes after cool season grasses, Bermuda, fescues, rye, and bluegrass, and is often found during the summer months when temperatures are the warmest. Large patch is the next culprit. It is most pervasive on warm season grasses like Bermuda, Zoysia, and St. Augustine, but typically it does not show up until fall. You're going to want to watch out for gray leaf spot Circospora zae matus. It appears as small oval gray spots during the warm and wet summer months on the blades of the plant caused by Pyrocularia grisia. It likes to attack St. Augustine, but it has been known to bully Bermuda, tall fescue, centipede, and rye grasses. Last but not least of the filthy four is dollar spot disease Sclerotinia homeocarpa. You'll know this one when it presents tan color lesions in areas about the size of a silver dollar. But history has shown that dollar spot can impact all grass types in the central Florida area. Four to avoid, four healthy turf grass. Okay, now that we know what these fungi are, what do we do to protect our turf from them? What you want to use are control products. These products are engineered to slow disease growth or prevent the fungi from reproducing. Remember, fungal disease is removed by way of new plant growth and mowing. Fungicides 101 tells us fungicides are classified by how the chemical is used once applied. There are four main fungicide categories. The most effective product for the disease will depend on the prevalence of the present fungus as well as the desired reapplication rate. Let's hear about the Fantastic Four. First, there are contact fungicides. They are heroic on preventative application and work by creating a protective barrier on the leaf and stem that prohibits pathogens from spreading. Because the product may be removed through new growth or mowing, contact fungicides require reapplication throughout the season. This is an effective option for battling gray leaf and dollar spot. Then, local penetrant systemic fungicides get her done. The power in these things is similar to the strength of contact fungicides but they may be used for curative programs as well as prevention. Their MO is to enter the plant while remaining close to the surface to overpower diseases like gray leaf spot and dollar spot. For something simply super, other systemic fungicides like mesostemic fungicides are great. These fighters inhibit the respiratory chain of the fungus by absorbing into the waxy plant layer. Sometimes called group 11 products, mesostemic fungicides are effective for brown and large patch treatment. Systemic fungicides are more powerful than a locomotive when used for prevention and curative programs. You need to apply the solution before you spy signs of the diseases. Once applied, these products move through the plant's vascular system faster than a speeding bullet to control and inhibit fungi. Reapplication, or the one-two punch, is typically required every 21 to 30 days for Central Florida geographics. Systemic fungicides are useful in treating and preventing gray leaf and dollar spot. All right, now we know what fungal diseases are and we know what to use on them. What about fungicide application? What do we want to know about that? Here's what. Always carefully read the entire label and strictly follow the manufacturer's instructions when applying all fungicides. In Florida, fungus can persist most of the year, so product should be applied as needed. More times than not, November to February and May to September. Read and follow the guidelines for reapplication intervals and maximum treatments per year. Fungicide should not be applied before irrigation or mowing. Control products should be applied and left to absorb for 24 hours. Check out Site One's Lesco agronomic calendars for product guidance in your particular area. For more agronomic tips, details, and expertise, consult an associate at your local Site One branch or visit siteone.com learn.